What we can consume is information. What we can apply to a skill. For me, I got better as a UX designer when I practiced certain concepts over and over again. That is why I am sharing with you three websites that give design challenges so that you can practice design and become a better designer. The first design challenge site we have is Daily UI Design, which actually comprises of 100 design challenges for the 100 consecutive days where they will send you the daily challenge and you will design it. However, there is a better way to actually use this challenge so that you can actually benefit the most. Pick the daily challenge that you actually want to design. Then you want to go to an inspiration site like ScreenLane and actually search for the UI design pattern they actually asked you to design. This site comprises of all the actual professional works that have been published so that you can actually try and copy design work of these designers who are way better than you so that you can reach their skills. The second design challenge is actually by Design Lab. What it is, is it is a end-to-end -end design challenge that comprises of 12 days where you will begin from ideating a project idea to finishing its design in high fidelity. Now, it is very important that you do not go and skip day two where you have to practice doing actual user interviews. It is very important that you do this so you develop the soft skills unit as a UX designer, whether it is how to conduct conduct the interviews or how to schedule them because these projects are end to end and they are almost like how it would work in a professional setting. So if you're a beginner UX designer, I would urge you to not do this 12 day challenge once, but at least twice. And the last design challenge site is provided by sharpen.design. What it does is it actually gives you a product design exercise that you can complete on your own so that you can practice the ideation phase of the design process. What you want to do is before you touch any of your keyboard to create pixels, I want you to answer the following five questions. Who is going to use this product? When will they use this product? And how will they use this product to accomplish their goals? Goals. And finally, how will we know and test that we are on the right track? These five questions will actually clear the context of the whole exercise and then you can actually begin sketching or doing low fidelity. This challenge is also especially useful when you are going to join the job market for actually finding a UX design job. Because it is part of the interview process, usually the third interview is when an interviewer gives you a challenge like this and you guys role play. So it will very much come in handy, not only in developing your ideation skills, but also in developing your job search skills. Thanks so much for watching this video guys and if you want to keep improving as a designer and you want to find out the best free design courses to do so, please click on this video next.